VR Chat: How to Make a World. First of all, you need a VR Chat account or merge your existing Oculus or Steam VR Chat account to an official VR Chat account and have the rank of new user or higher. Download and install the Unity Hub from Unity. Make a Unity account so you'll have access to the asset store. Log into your VR Chat account on the VR Chat website and navigate to the downloads button. Check for the version of Unity to download by clicking Setting up the SDK, and then clicking Current version of Unity. Click the hyperlink followed by the current Unity version used by VRChat is... This brings you to the Unity page. Click the hyperlink and install this version with Unity Hub. Click Open with Unity Hub. Unity Hub will launch. Add Android build support, then click install. If there are any other window prompts, it's best practice to blindly accept anything. Now the correct version of Unity is installing. Navigate back to the VRChat download page and click the download the creator companion button. Install creator companion. The creator companion will manage your SDKs and other add-ons so you don't have to. Once Unity is done installing, in the creator companion, click project, then the new button, then the world button, and type in a fitting project name and change the location if desired. Click Create and wait until Unity finishes launching. Here is a super quick rundown of the layout of Unity. The scene is where you see all your stuff currently being used in the project. The hierarchy is the list of stuff that you can find in your scene. The inspector is where you see the specific details about the stuff you are selected on in the hierarchy or the scene. The project window is the actual files in the project, whether or not they are in the scene. Here's a crash course in scene navigation. In the scene, mouse wheel scroll zooms in and out, mouse wheel button drags, holding right mouse button rotates your view, and holding right mouse button while using WASD is familiar FPS navigation. In the hierarchy, delete both the canvas and the event system by right clicking them and selecting delete. Right click on the hierarchy and click 3D object, then plane. The plane will be acting like the floor in our first world. In the inspector, set all position values to zero. This puts the plane at the center of the world. Now let's add some items to the world. Go to the assets store tab above the scene view. Alternatively, the asset store can be found under the window button at the top of the screen. In the search bar, type light survival. Find and download poly light survival collection. Once it's done downloading, make sure you import it by clicking the import button where the download button used to be. An import menu will pop up. Click import. Click back to the scene tab. In the asset folder, there will now be a new folder for survival collection. Open that folder, then the prefabs folder. Prefabs are prefabricated game objects ready for use in your world. Find the bonfire intent and click and drag the prefabs into your scene. Using the red, blue, green axes, move the objects to where you want them. Use the rotate tool above the hierarchy to rotate your objects. Add any other objects to your scene that you want in your world. No world is complete without a mirror. In the project asset folder, select samples, VRChat SDK worlds, then the version folder, Udon example scene, prefabs. Click and drag the VRC mirror prefab into the hierarchy. Using the red, blue, green axes, drag the mirror to where you want it on your floor. The blue axis is pointing to the opposite direction of the reflection. If you want to change the size of the mirror, select the scale tool above the hierarchy and use these axes to scale the mirror. Next, in your project folder, drag the VRC World prefab into your hierarchy. The VRC World prefab tells the SDK that you are uploading a world and gives you a few customizable settings such as run speed and jump force. Most importantly, VRC World also acts like a spawn point for players. Make sure you move it to above the floor. Select the Move tool above the hierarchy and move the VRC World to wherever you want. It's time to test our world out. Select VRChat SDK in the top bar. Select Show Control Panel and drag it next to the Inspector tab. This will make it easier to access later. Log into your VRChat account, then select Builder and click the Build and Test button. This will launch VRChat and test the world in-game. If you're happy with the world, you can close VRChat and in Unity, under the Builder tab, you can click Build and Publish for Windows. After a wait, the Configure World screen should pop up. Name your world and check off the checkbox for the above information is accurate and select Upload. Your world is now uploaded to VRChat. 
The world will be private, but you can invite your friends to it or drop a portal to have random people check out your world. If you want to make your world public, select the Publish to Community Labs checkbox before uploading. Community Labs is a testing ground for new worlds before they become truly public. Anyone can visit them, but they can only be found under the Community Labs section in the Worlds menu. Thanks for watching.